So today I invite Raymond, who have been study my book, uh, decoding Wing Chun for weeks, to share what he found from the book, and uh, if there's any questions, he can ask me here so that I can share with everybody. And uh, those who study the uh, decoding Wing Chun can contact me if they want to do a Zoom with me to ask questions and to share. So Raymond, please tell me, you know, tell us that uh, what do you find in the book uh, Decoding Wing Chun? Yes, I, um, um, I make a, a note uh, at the moment. So uh, every uh, part I make uh, notes and then uh, I see everything. Every time I see new little things I missed uh, when I first read it. And um, and uh, it makes it more clear then. And uh, with the videos you share even more so I can link with the book. Um, and now um, um, with the book, I can see more details when I'm training. And I so can use what is the, the difference? You know, what is the difference between you, <clears throat> you read this book study this book and you don't know this book so before you study and after you study what do you oh. find different yeah a lot um first uh, uh, how you train yeah? this is the, you have to the, the recovery the fitness and the strength training with the breathing and um and the abdominal pressure uh, how you use it uh, which kind of uh, breathing you use and um in, in what area you are when you train uh, are you in the in the plum flower area to really fight, or you're on, on the outside? You can breathe different than in the in the in the plum flower area to, when you fight. Um, you train. I train a lot of different because now you know what you have to be, um, um, what you have to know to to train it well, and also the students. I can train more uh, in details. And they, they that, so they understand what what they are doing and and not just go in and out and 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 it's 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 uh, more complete now for me so the, the book gives me uh, a lot of tools to train more effectively so so, so with your student what what do you what do you start new for them after you read the book uh, uh, the abdominal pressure, the breathing, more pay more attention to the to the breathing, and um, you you uh, watch what they are doing, and so and it is for 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 them it's also uh, uh, new the abdominal pressure. So that is a thing I'm a lot busy with it. So uh, what do you think this? Right now, with this book, different than what you, what you practiced before. What do you, you know your mindset before you read this book and uh, and after you read this book? What is the the major, 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 really, really uh, critical differences for yourself? Uh, what comes up now is is um, the. Um... For me, the I, I I understand more about the abdominal pressure and the breathing, and uh, that you are um, move uh, with uh, that your power come from your hips or from your uh, yeah from your from your hips and how you use it and you uh, are uh, not jelly eh? and um, and uh, all those little things together makes uh, it a lot. Um, uh, better to understand what you are doing. That is for me now at this moment uh, um, the part where I'm busy with. So there's a lot more eh? because I can do everything at once. So first train what you uh, can train and then uh, bit by bit I take more. I do more things. So do you recommend this for everybody? Yeah, if if you don't if you don't know this, what are you doing then? So, 
it, it's very very important uh, and 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 uh, in my opinion uh, um, it's it's very important to have this without this you yeah you miss a lot of things I saw last uh, time a video from somebody who trained in MMA uh, was very famous he didn't know about the breathing then and uh, now he told about the breathing I, I, I immediately think about your book that's in it so it's 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 uh, very very important the breathing and the abdominal pressure that is the main thing for me now but there's more in it but so it's very important yeah so uh it is important because we need to know what is going on inside out it's you know it's not just think uh training hand techniques uh following what people do and uh not knowing that whether we can train or not so do you do you check your student whether they can train that thing or they cannot train that thing uh, to make sure they are they they are safe yeah of course um i, I don't let them do things if i see they are not ready yet so uh, the student that train longer with me, they they do more and um, and and step by step, not too fast, because I still have to learn things too. Eh? So, uh, um, but but many things I recognize, I did it, but I wasn't aware of it, and um, now I'm much more aware of it. And that's the main thing. You you understand what you are doing, and 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 and, and, and uh, before I read read this book, I didn't know. So you and many still, things come on, yeah. You use uh, you use the yes. the, and with your student you use the 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 the, the heart rate monitoring too. See, si, yes, yes. Also, it's the it's it's the main thing because without the the heart rate, they don't know what they are doing. So it's 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 a, uh, and a lot of students they buy a watch too, eh? So so they train different and many. Uh, if they train for themselves, they also use it because now they have a, a clear picture what they are doing. It's for me to if I, if I go to the to the gym, I always watch at my watch well what I am doing, what am I training? Am I in the fitness or what I want to go to the strength train or what I want to do recovery? That is, it's, it's, now you understand and it's it's yeah you can't do it without for me. And so, and for, so your student. Uh, start to buy the watch too yes yeah it, it is do you think that it is better like I, I tell everybody to use it uh do you think that's better for the student to train and to, to take care of their health yeah that is the main thing for for me the health is uh it's important uh, that they are fit and healthy and um and uh and if i go to to a little bit uh Faster, I I, I uh, watch at the people they don't can do it, so I go to them and say go easy, not too fast because you are not there yet. And the people who are fit and and healthy, they can go uh, can do more. So I see at every person uh, what is their uh, ability to to train in in in. in uh, a fitness training or, or or more so this is uh, uh very 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 different than those uh internal training uh, uh the oldest wing chun training like uh, happened many many years ago this is a complete new way of training am i right yeah yeah and and I, the, the, there's so much in it um if, if if somebody comes for a trial lesson, you can tell so much. Uh, but yeah, it's it's uh, it's a lot, eh? So uh, you can't tell too much because they are going. Uh, <laughs> it's it's a lot of details, and I like it. it it's it's the way. It's, it's just the way. So it's more like an uh, education. Uh, it is a class, a formal class. Now it's not just uh, teaching something. Uh, like uh, oh this is Chinese stuff it's no longer that it is like this is a sport like uh, then mm -hmm. you know every details of it right mm -hmm. yeah 
Yeah, certain. Yeah. Do you have any any questions uh, from the book, which is uh, you want to ask? I, I can answer for you. Yeah, um, uh, I had uh, I had uh, last I read uh, something about the 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 training. I hope I can explain it well. Uh, is uh, when you start with high definition of all uh, um, uh, the the strengthening training, then uh, when you you have to punch with 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 strength, and and uh, when you first start with it, so. You you can't uh, hit on the back with with uh, with uh, loose muscle, but you have to start with hard punches and you okay, have to be okay. Okay, okay. Let me let me explain to you. As what I explained in the strengthening chapter, the ancient Chinese is trained when they train for martial art is full force, full power. Full force, full power. All the, all the, all the, the muscle. Meaning that is like today. If you go to the gym to watch a Western boxing or Thai boxing, they go full force. Okay, so so that is how it's supposed to be. If it's a strengthened training for the martial arts, but you have to have the fitness. Like you go to Western boxing gym. Those who train the, the, the back really heavily and so forth, like Mike Tyson, they have their body conditioning, their fitness before they can do that. So that's why it is in the, uh, in the strengthening chapter, I put the, the, Chinese, uh, the Chinese writing. One second. Yeah. The, the Chinese... The, 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 the writing, okay, this is chapter seven. But before that, you have to have, you have, have to have tons of those, uh, those, uh, those training before you can go there. If you don't, you go there, it's guaranteed you're going to screw up yourself. So before one need to do this, as I explained here, in the, the first level of strengthening, you need to run. The minimum you need to run, have a, have a, a, a like a, a few months of conditioning for your VO2 max and your cardio and your, 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 uh, your muscular set, uh, this uh, strength. You cannot just get somebody who uh, come in for the first two months, don't do much anything, go, go striking at the, uh, the, the, the heavy back. You uh, or go sparring. You you don't even have the body to do the job. Okay. So you need to have your strengthening training. Uh, your uh, your fitness. The high level of fitness training, as well explained here, where you get into the heart rate zone three and four for a long time. Before your body can do that, okay. So if you're not, not uh, training in running, like running at least, say, 10 minutes, and uh, you, you don't have some lifting, weightlifting, or uh, 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 core training, you go hitting the heavy back for your best. You're going to cause problem with your breathing because you don't know how, you don't have the stamina and everything. And then, and you, you're going to hold your breathing and your body because it's never strengthening before with the high level of fitness is going to injure your body, your, your, your physical body. So, so as what I say in the book, you cannot train that strengthening training if you do not have a solid fitness training. But when you get the strengthened training, you have to do it that strong, that heavy. Nobody is playing, uh, playing video, uh, a movie with you in fighting. You look at all this uh, full contact sparring. I mean, who, who is joking? Nobody is joking. Everybody go full force. 
Okay. So we need to take it really seriously. This is not something which is everybody can, uh, can do. As in the book, I say that at the strengthening training is more than METs, M-E-T, METs of six. Three to six is a physical training. METs of six and above is vigorous training. You need to, uh, in, a, in a proper way, you need to really have a good fit in the body, fitness in the body to do that. Or if you are not sure, go check with your doctor. Can I do the vigorous training? Usually, I check people, what is your VO2 max? If the VO2 max at the uh, high heart rate, like a zone, zone 4, zone 5 heart rate, you know, your VO2 max at, your say, 85% of your heart rate, if it is low, then forget about strengthening training. You better go fitness training. If you never lift any weight, like uh, uh, girls or, or, or female or woman, they never have conditioned their body. You better have sit up, push out, and all those things before you can go punching the, uh, the, the heavy bag. You know, if you do prank in the, uh, in, the, in the floor, if you don't have that, be able to handle your body, I mean, how can you do a heavy bag? No. You understand what I'm talking about? So you need to yes. internally training the breath. The idea is that internally, you want to be comfortable because you're going to exert strength. Externally, your body has to be strong enough to take the impact. Okay? Only that you can train that way. And that is still not the, not the ultimate or not the advanced, uh, not the second level of a strengthening training. This is just the first level. You train, if you feel tired, you, 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 you stay aside. You, you, you're punching heavy back, you stay aside. Okay, that, that is not really real fight training. That is just preparations. Even though that already you, you strike really hard. Now, when you go into the, 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 the fighting zone training where everything is, your breathing is, have, you, you, you have to uh, time your breathing and all this kind of thing is completely unnatural. Because it doesn't matter whether you're tired or not tired when the opponent doing something, you have to respond to it. You have to control your breathing. That is not natural. That is for performance and that can screw up your body big time. So if you have a heart problem or kidney problem, any pro you don't want to go there. So in the ancient Chi Chinese, like I, I put it here, you have to train really hard for the strengthening training, right? Full force. And, well, if you have a Sifu, they will train you that way, then you know what I'm talking about. So right now, I wrote it out, say that actually have two levels. One is like the usual heavy back. Yes, you use full force to train to refine your body, refine your cardio. And then there's a level is you do for sparring to refine your performance, your skill in a real fight. You understand what I'm talking? Clear now? Yeah. Clear? Yeah, so that, that is what, what's going on. Now, if you never go through this, the strengthening of your body and the cardio, which is natural way, right? You're tired, you, you relax, you can punch, you, you out of breath, you, you can just slow down. But in the ring, you're not like that. In the ring inside there, it's a completely different story. So there's the second level of the strengthening training, right? Until you get the strengthening training, what fighting? So people say, hey, you know, don't talk with your mouth, talk with your hand. I say, you, talk, you better be able to talk with your breath. If you don't even know this thing, what I just shared with you, how the hell are you going to uh, face like uh, the, 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 our friend Xi Xiaotong in China who trained MMA? You must be kidding. Look at how the MMA people train. 
Look at how the UFC people train, the professional like in the Olympic train. If you don't have this, you don't up to the level for fighting. Just, just call it off. You know you cannot do it. And nobody need to do it. Like me, 50-something, uh, 60-something retire, I don't want to do that because that is going to load my body. And, and the other day, I just say that all this type of strengthening training is going to cause you to have a lot of free radicals. People who have a tendency in having a cancer or have a concern about having cancer, stop it. You don't want to touch those kind of things. Because the long term of doing those kind of things is body damaging. Scientifically, we know we know it already. Right? So hopefully this answers your question, right? And into the details how this training must carry on. Yes, thank you. You know, it is it is not like uh you play the Sulin Tao set, the Chum Q set, this BG set or uh, this uh, 1850 Sulim Tao set, then you can get everything. No, you cannot get everything. Because you need to know the nature of training. So as what I put in here, the 1850s Wing Chun Sulim Tao set alone, you have all this training. All right. So yesterday I just told a friend, if I can do four strikes, one, two, three, four, I take, no, four action, say four action, four action. Either I take, I, 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 I punching four times, or I take four blow, if I can take that for my breathing, okay, and still have reserve, I will not go to fight somebody who can do six times and have reserve. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Because my energy, my, my my body conditioning, I only can take four times. In the four time, four action, I can do punch him, take a blow, punch him, take a blow, or punch him, take two blow and uh, uh and uh and counter. Or or sometimes if I miss, I have to take three, four blow. If I can only fall doing four times and somebody can do six times, I, I, I walk out. How can you fight? Yeah. This is Chi Chi Guang book, right? So, how many strike? This is, uh, there are 32 combinations in Chi Chi Guang's uh, writing. So this is just one of the combination. One, two, three, four, five. And he still has reserve. So the standard is Chi Chi Guang army will have five attack, five action. Either take your punch three times, uh, uh, punch you two, attack you two times, or five times I can go move away, and still my my uh, my body have the reserve. That is the Chi Chi Guang riding standard. So tell me, how much do we have? You want to fight those? You understand clearly what I'm talking about? Yes. So that's the standard of the Chi Chi Guang's uh, 32 momentum. Every momentum, you ought to be able to handle five. Action. Five action meaning that either it can be you're striking people, you know, or kicking people, and taking blow. Taking people's hit. That's, this is real life fighting, okay? So I ask people, how many, how many strike can you take? Or have you even think know that it is in the 1560? This is not movie. You must be kidding. 
But if you look at this, like in the today's uh, boxing match, you know, right? Somebody will go out of gas. Right away, the energy is gone if they don't plan it properly, right? So, so the bottom line is, all this book, what I'm doing is try to bring the 1850 Wing Chun to today's. And you know that that is, we need to live uh, solid in the reality, no fantasy. And that's why for the uh, for the decoding Wing Chun, one side I tell us different thing, you know how the old Chinese train uh, we uh, categorize in today's sport science. Another I introduce to all the checking, like what is your VO two max, what is your mat you train, what is your heart rate zone, and all your breathing three hundred sixty degree. If you don't check for that, you are looking for trouble. Am I right? Yeah. So how much? How many of your students can do six three hundred sixty uh, degree breathing for fitness? Uh, a couple, not many, because uh, it's it's not uh, easy, eh? But but they they will learn because you have the right tools and and you can do it. So how do but, you train uh, them? How do you train them? How do you train them to have this three sixty degree to let them feel? Um, if if they uh, not really understand what I mean, then I I let them sit on the saddle chair to feel it. Oh, the saddle chair, right? Like the one I shared with you before. Yeah, yeah. And then they they sit and and then they recognize what it is. And you can um, and if they are a little bit further, they have the two C stand and they feel the they can feel it better. What 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 uh, what it is. With with the deep breathing, and then we can. Uh, I I sometimes I do a, a, a stretch band, so light. Um, what you do uh, when you are hurting, you can do it on your belly to feel it. With a, with a little bit. Uh, yeah, like like uh, like over here, right? One second. Like this one, right? Yes. It's, 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 so it is uh, in the uh, decoding Wing Chun with this uh with this uh with, with this uh stretch band right yes yeah so well just to tell everybody before people using the sas the belt but right now we can use this yes to start so it, it is all here okay the from the ancient to today you need to have all this basic before before you go or oh, fighting and everything Okay, so hopefully I, I clear all this thing with you guys. Uh, that's why I told you before, I said, well, for your school, make it like a, a, an art school and a, a sport school, a exercise school, a fitness school. Don't make it like a, like a kung fu school, like a, you, you, you train like in a movie, like you're going to fight the entire world, okay? What you can contribute to the people is educations. Your the job of the ancient in ancient the Wing Chun as is very clear now here. Seventy percent is for your health. That thirty percent is know about what is the fighting, and train in fighting. It is an education. And you don't have to do that 30% of the fighting. Because you have to base on your body, not just like gung-ho, I, I can do this, I can do this. Oh, so do you believe me if I say, hey, you know, uh, Raymond, you know, come to my uh, seminar for weekend and then you will learn the secret technique from me, okay? And uh, you you pay me a thousand dollars US, and then uh, and then after you graduate from the seminar, I give you a teaching assistant uh, certificate, and then you go go teaching. Do you believe? Do you buy into those things? No, not anymore. 
How hard is that to train just the basic? Okay, you need a lot of time. You have to be. Uh, you have to live it. You have to be. Um, it, it is always on my mind. It's not. Uh, oh, I. I think I go to do something. Hey, I'm always with it uh, to 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 share it and, and 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 to know really know it and to understand it and not I think I know it. No, I want to know it. That's the main difference. Yeah, many people say, "Hey, Hendrik, your video is too long." Well. I have to tell all the details. Yeah. This is not for fun or entertainment or movie. Because one step you screw up, you're going to screw the entire thing. And if you don't have that uh, patience to listen to what I'm talking or I, okay, I'm whining, mm -hmm. then you don't even have any patience to really train the art. Not to mention, I'm, I'm, I'm telling, open up everything here for free. Where, in which school can you find all this information for free, like I share here? Well, you've Where? been in, in martial arts for what, more than two decades or so forth. Have you ever seen all this kind of information which you need to know? No, and that's why I watch, because it is, it, it's, it's a very uh, educational and, and, and it's, it's, yeah, it's like you said, it's for free. Why, why don't you do it? <laughs> So, so for me is that, why, why do you want to do something and then enjoy yourself? Why do you want to assume? Oh, uh, Hendrik talked too much, uh, uh, too long. If you cannot take it for five minutes while I talk, stop the entire thing, read again, go back again and find out what the heck I'm talking about before you can you, you proceed. It's like I ask people, how long do you, uh, in, in one lecture in the college, it is 45 minutes. If you cannot handle the 45 minutes in the, in, the, in the class, taking note, how can you graduate? There's this basic education. You say, well, I only have uh, 10 minutes of attention. Forget about it. You're out of the college. Okay? Learning is not fun. Learning is not, you see food, I see food. This is called bullshit. Okay? You look at the Western boxer. How long they stand in the gym to just do basic stuff. Right? Chinese Kung yeah. Fu have no different than that. So there's no shortcut, there's no snake oil in the real Chinese Kung Fu. That's what I want to bring to the West. Enough is enough. Okay? And your health is important. That's why you have all the sport science stuff. It's all scientific. I'm not the grandmaster. Science is what you need to follow. And reality is not what you need to follow. And things will continue to evolve that way. Look at the Western boxing. Look at the MMA. Isn't it continues to evolve? That's, it's supposed to be this way. Okay. Yes. Time is up. So okay. thanks for, uh, for Thank sharing. You. Thank you too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.